Science Sport, gateway to interactive learning. Sponsored by Dow Agro Sciences. This program is for people just like you that want to learn more science, science that makes sense. Science Sport is based upon investigations you can do, either at home, at the museum, or online. John, we're here today talking about models, and you have both a plant and an animal model. And this is one of the activities that you do here in the lab, isn't it, John? Yes, it is. Uh, we make cell models using craft items. Usually, we take the different craft items, things like pasta or uh, even pieces of straw or beads, and use them to make the different organelles or pieces of the cells. You know, one of the important aspects of having a model in science is to be able to share or show something that's hard to see or hard to duplicate. So having a model is something that a scientist will do to understand the concept. John, how, if I want to understand this model, what type of thing in the world uh, could I compare this to? Well, cells can be compared to things like, well, maybe factories. A factory, yeah. okay. And so a factory makes something, so a cell makes something. Is that That's correct? right. The cells help make the different parts of our bodies. Uh, matter of fact, the instructions for our bodies are contained in the cell. Um, basically, that would be the nucleus. That's where the instructions mm -hmm. would start out at. Basically, the nucleus would be like the office in a, in factory. a factory. Let me ask you this. We have a, uh, this is a plant cell. Now, in the real plant cell, we don't find macaroni and glitter. So, John, can you show us on this other model, the scientific model, what are the different pieces of this right here? Okay, well, for instance, we have a nucleus in the plant cell. It's and slightly offset here on the side. And so this would be the nucleus here in our model. Yes, and the nucleus represents, again, that office space that we talked about where the instructions are issued from. Mm -hmm. And these are kind of interesting, these long, slender pieces here. What do those represent in our model, John? Okay, well, if you look here in this model, um, they represent bags that serve as transport systems within the cell. They're called the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, wait a minute, we have to say that one again. Endoplasmic reticulum. We call it the ER for short. It's a lot easier. <laughs> and uh, basically, it, it serves to move things around the cell. So if I was back to my factory model, this ER would be like the conveyor belts or maybe some of the workers moving things around inside the factory. Exactly like okay. that. All right, these are kind of interesting. John, what about this uh, strange thing that is round right here in the model? Oh, okay, that corresponds to our large vacuole. It's like a giant bag inside of the plants. Mm -hmm. It holds water. It's like, well, a storage area. A storage area. So if the cell or the factory needs parts, it could pull from the vacuole for this. Right. Whether you're three or 73, Scienceport has an investigation for you because the science we study is science that makes sense. Today, we visited the Biotech Learning Center sponsored by Dow Agro Sciences. Join us online or at the museum for our next investigation in Scienceport, gateway to interactive learning.